Hello everyone, Cap here and welcome back to Army of Ruin. Today I'm going to beat the game. I will play the hardest difficulty on the final level and on Ruin 5. I beat it yesterday already but I didn't record it so I will try to kind of replicate it and hopefully I can do it again. And I will build my character as strong as I can, obviously, and I will explain why this works and why it's kind of broken. So I unlocked everything at this point, and I feel like the strongest character overall is Morg. Since the only downside that he has is minus 25% speed. And speed isn't that important, really. You just want to kill everything anyways. And... He has plus 100% health, plus 40% attack size, and plus 25% pickup range. And additional damage boost when hit of plus 25% every 5 levels up to 10 times. He's really strong. And he's starting with Mighty Punch, which deals a lot of damage. It's really close range, but it deals a lot of damage and you can kill the early mobs, like one shot everything pretty much, and collect early XP and then get ahead. So yeah, let's let's get into it and I will show you which weapons and which trinkets to pick to easily beat this. Hopefully. <laughs> let's go. Uh, let's start getting early XP here. Actually, these don't die in one hit. But that's fine. Okay, I will pick Frozen Shard because it's really strong. The freeze is just so good. Frozen enemies don't deal damage. Oh, and also his active is super good. Right click and deals a lot of damage. The projectiles I just shot. Um, I'm going to take the wristband. Because this is kind of similar to his passive. Where he, when he gets hit, gets additional damage. This also gives even more damage and also some speed. I want to reroll once, I want another weapon ideally. Mm, none of these though. So I'm just going to pick the Mighty Punch. My active is up soon again and I can basically kill everything that's behind me at the moment. I don't want any of these. So also let's hope that we don't get too unlucky with our rerolls. Ancestral Razor usually has the highest damage in the game, at least in my runs. When I check the damage at the end of a round, this deals the most, so I'm going to pick it. <coughs> Get all of those. Another level. Let's just upgrade the Razor. Get to 5 as soon as possible and ascend. Uh, don't want any of this, so I'm going to just upgrade the punch. Don't want these two. Picking the frozen shard. I don't want to waste rerolls at the moment. I might need them later to get the remaining items that I'm looking for. So as long as there's something to pick here, I'm going to pick it. Let's run right to get the power up here. Oh, some gold. Sure. Not a gold run, but still. Razor again, already four. So one more. And I might... I'll need one or two elements too though, before I can ascend it. Frozen shard, don't want the others. Alright, Razor at, at 5, I don't want the others. Oh, I still need the elements though. Ascend it. Evolve it. The correct word, I think. 
frozen shard. <clears throat> Not really seeing the items that I'm looking for so far. Mainly just upgrading what I have. Again, just upgrade frozen shard. Already at five. Still nothing new. Pick the wristband. I'm almost inclined to start re-rolling here, but I'm fine for now I think, but soon I need something new. Or oh, it's going to be tough killing everything. Oh, there's a chest to the right. Let's walk towards that. No luck. <laughs> wow, this is really unlucky so far. Let's see. Uh, next upgrade, I might reroll. Let's right click. Use our active in the face of the boss here and almost dead already and dead. Um, going to pick up the chest. I think I'm too far away from evolving anyways, I need two more elements. And this is also at 5 now already. Everything I have is at 5, wow. <laughs> I really need something new and I will get something new now. On the next level up. Get the power up here on the right, boots, sure. This is the great thing about the frozen shards, just everything freezes behind you and frozen enemies don't deal damage, that's really nice. Alright, slowing down here a bit, not too many enemies, not too much XP that we can pick up. That was a slow level. All right, um, the throwing axe is good. Also potentially the tornado. I'm not sure if I want to pick it again. I'm not sure how strong it was, but for now the axe is good for sure. And I want this. really hoping I can find that one trinket I'm looking for soon because it's really strong especially during farm waves when there are a lot of enemies that have potentially low HP. The amulet, the frozen amulet or something, I don't know the name exactly but I will show you hopefully in a bit here. It's really strong. It's like brokenly strong. It's the single best item in the game in my opinion. So hopefully I can find it. Throwing X again. These flying fish are super annoying so hard to keep track of them, especially if there's more going on. I usually just run into them. But that's the good thing about this character and also about the wristband or whatever it's called. When I take damage I deal more damage, so 
It's not that bad. Alright, the crown is good. I'm going to pick the crown too. A lot of extra damage. And I need fire too. The right click is so strong. This character in general is just so strong too. Right click just cleans up. Nothing I want of these, so I'm going to pick the axe. I wish I would have found more items so far. It's not really lucky that we only found upgrades to what we have. Hopefully I can still get what I want. Uh, Cupid's arrow is also really strong and I'm going to pick it. It's basically homing arrows that fly around and attack multiple enemies one after the other. Just pierce everything. And once it's evolved, it also gets a poison effect. Let's maybe get one more level before we pick up the chest from the boss in a bit here. Maybe we can evolve something if we get the right item. Mm -hmm. Let me reroll once and see if I can find an element to evolve one of my weapons. Uh, yes, nice. Sacred Effigy, also really good reduces health of enemies and bosses so they die faster too and now we can evolve the razor i think yep and this is going to heal so much damage just razors flying all over the map bouncing from one enemy to the next and yeah healing a lot of damage Uh, there's a chest to the left, but let me pick up this power up here first. Pick up the remaining XP on the map. Not sure how much I left. Not even a level. I was pretty good with picking up XP in this run so far. Get the next chest. Wish there were more enemies. Some waves feel really slow. Okay, now there are more enemies. Let's upgrade. Nothing new, just picking. I don't want any of the others, so I'm going to pick the Cupid's arrow.
Taking the crown. Nothing good. The book and razor is just going to <laughs> decimate everything here. Okay, I don't want any of these, so I'm going to reroll. Nothing new, just picking the crown. Let's get one or two more levels and see if we can get another element to evolve. Okay, I'm starting to feel the pressure here a bit. I need something new soon and I don't want any of these. I'm going to reroll. Again. Uh oh, again. I'm starting to wonder if I'm not going to get the items I want. I'm getting low on rerolls. Alright. Just so that I don't have to reroll yet again, I'm going to pick the tornado. I'm not sure which other weapon I was going for, I forgot, but not the tornado. Anyways, I'm going to pick it. It's okay. Also, it's basically the newest weapon I got. Maybe it's interesting for you to see. It's just tornadoes coming in from outside and bouncing off of me, going back outside, something like that. Uh, nothing new, so finish the Cupid's arrow. Man, I really want that ice amulet. It would have been so good already. A lot of XP here. Okay, I'm just going to start picking up chests. There are too many now. One more level. And then I'm going to pick up this one. Oh nice, finally some item. <coughs> Forbidden Sword. Forbidden Sword is also kind of busted. You don't get anything at first, but once it's maxed you get plus 80% damage and plus pro one projectile. It's just so much more damage. It's uh, really good. So as long as you can get through the to max it and survive as long as you need to. It's really good. Okay. Uh, let's collect this and then move to the right because there are chests. Okay, and some. Actually, there's also a chest on the left here now, so maybe let's pick up this first and then go right. Let's finish the sword soon. Already level 3. Remaining XP, very good. None of these. <clears throat> uh oh. <laughs> um, actually, let me pick up the rabbit's foot because it's not too bad. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get the item that I want. I was looking for the, I think, hidden, is it hidden stash or something? 
gives uh, extra drops from elite mobs and also more luck. A bit of sword. Let's get one more level <coughs> before we pick up the chest. These bats are way too tanky. For some reason they don't die as quickly as they feel like they should because they are so small. Can I get a level please? And there's another chest already. Nothing that I really wanted. I'm going to just pick up the chest. Oh, I was able to evolve something. Anyways, give it's arrow. I'm picking this up now and keep moving to the right because there's another chest there. Oh, nice, finished Forbidden Sword. That's really important. That's a lot more damage right now. I still didn't get the most OP item, by the way, <laughs> which is hopefully going to be my last one. This would have been so good here. Alright, let's pick this. It's actually so good that it might make the difference between beating this and not beating this. Because this wave would have been no problem whatsoever. Nice, there it is, finally. Let's go. Marine necklace is what it's called. And whenever you pick up 50 experience gems here at level 1, it deals damage and freezes enemies in, a, in an area. And the area is quite big. So this is super good because when they are frozen, they don't deal damage. And you can just run through enemies and pick up XP that's lying around there and then you trigger it again and everything dies or gets frozen and you kill it and pick up more XP and they get frozen again and die and so it's really good. You can see it here. Okay now I also picked up the power up that freezes but this was a trigger, this is a trigger etc. And it's just getting faster because you need less at some point, I think. Less than 50 experience gem and it deals more damage and freezes for longer. So it just gets stronger. I'm just running through here at this point. And everything freezes and dies. And I am going to pick up XP and everything freezes and dies again. <laughs> so yeah, that's why this item is kind of broken. It not only deals a lot of damage, but it also freezes. And freezing is probably in general the most broken effect in this game. Upgraded tornadoes. So basically at this point Everything has such a hard time getting even close to me. Because they die in my vicinity and I'm picking up the XP and then I do the explosion, the ice explosion. And they get frozen or die. Next evolution. Oh yeah, frozen shard. Additional freezing. It's they pierce now. 
So basically I turn around, freeze everything, turn around, freeze everything on the other side and so on. If I want to, but I don't really need to, to be honest. Because with the amulet everything is frozen anyways. Let's move to the left, there are quite a few power-ups. The amulet is not as strong during waves with fewer and tougher enemies, but it's still, it triggers quite regularly still, and it's really good when it does. Makes such a huge difference. I feel like it's too much, it's, it's, not only it's freezing, but it's also dealing so much damage, it's like, m I can show you at the end. Okay, I got it really late now. So let's maybe look at the DPS and not the overall damage. But um, usually when I get it early, it has my second highest damage of all my weapons and trinkets. And this is a trinket. The trinket has the second highest damage of all my damage, which is kind of silly. It's too strong for a trinket, I feel like when it deals more damage and has an additional effect, like freezing, uh, compared to a weapon. And now I'm going to pick up so much XP, everything explodes and drops more XP and explodes again. And even when I'm getting damage, I just increase my own damage because of the character I have and the wristband. So I can just run into the enemies basically, take a tiny bit of damage and pick up the XP and everything explodes. This feels really good. <laughs> That's why I like it. This build feels really nice. The explosions from the... That's, it's basically the amulet. It's mainly the amulet that feels really good. I still have an evolution to go. I didn't even notice. Mighty punch. Okay, now I'm done though. Everything is leveled up. So yeah, now I'm also farming a bit of gold actually, because now I'm getting gold from the chests and from level ups, since I already upgraded everything. There's so many power ups left and right, I need to move a bit. And if you're having issues because there's too many enemies that are getting kind of close, you just turn around, let your glacial spikes or whatever they're called shoot once and freeze everything in that direction and then turn around and freeze everything in the other direction. Everything's frozen, everything's frozen. Many more seconds to the final boss. Oh, spare book. Ah, I could have saved that. Actually, really quickly killed the final boss. I didn't see it in time. I was just running into it. Here he is. Pick up XP and freeze him too. At least slow, not freeze. Stay close so I can hit the boss with my punch. Right click and dead. 
<laughs> Easy clap. Yeah, that was that. Let's check out the damage. So, Ethereal Razor, 4200 DPS, which is not the highest actually, because the highest DPS is the Marine Necklace, because, it, because it's busted. So yeah, <laughs> Marine Necklace has actually the highest DPS, and it is a trinket and not a weapon. Which is kind of stupid. I hope this was interesting and if you enjoyed this please uh, leave a like and subscribe. There will be more of these types of games on this channel. So yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Bye!